Hey. Yo, what's up, guy? And I can hear myself. Starting my playthrough of Pillars of Eternity. Boop. Can't hear, I can't hear myself. Quiet, Alice. All right. I'm going to play on the hardest difficulty because I want to. I want to do it. Path of the Damned. Path of the Damned. Hopefully I don't regret this. We'll see how it works. We will see. The Pillars of Eternity. Two-handed melee weapons do the most per hit damage and can be valuable for punching through high damage reductions. Good to know. Got to break that DR, you know? So I did play a little bit of this game with a buddy of mine, but I stopped. Five pretty quick. wagons grope blindly for the path on a starless night, their master glancing ever upward to the skies for assurance that he is on the right course. A dim lantern, his only protection against the encroaching darkness. But the skies bring no comfort, shining no light, betraying no hint of what they know. The caravan carries travelers bound for the frontier hamlet of Gilded Vale, you among them, where a local lord has offered land and wealth to settlers from abroad looking for a fresh start. You have taken suddenly ill, sweating and shivering, and one of the other travelers signals for the caravan master to stop on your behalf. He pulls up just in time to avoid plowing into the trunk of a fallen tree that bars the way ahead. You will go no further tonight. Damn. Okay. Sounds good. Well, it doesn't sound good, but, you know, let's do it. All right, what am I going to play? I'm feeling like, uh, feeling like Mage. Feeling like a mage should be good. Testing? Let's see. Let's see here. What do we got? Play a dude? Sure. Okay, humans get plus one resolve and plus one might. Resolve reflects a character's internal drive, determination, fearlessness, and the emotional intensity they can project to others. It can be useful for mental intimidation, leadership, convincing performances. In combat, it helps characters maintain concentration and contributes to the will and deflection defenses. Might represents a character's physical and spiritual strength, brute force, as well as their ability to channel powerful magic. During interactions, it can be useful for intimidating displays and acts of brute force. In combat, it contributes to both damage and healing, as well as fortitude defense. Okay. Whoa. The largest of the kith races are commonly found near inner near oceans, though not truly aquatic. They have an affinity for water, and many of their civilizations, such as Ruatai, are based on naval dominance. They are known for their unparalleled strength. Dwarf! Dwarf! Hey, Shade LOL, what's up? Welcome to the stream. How you doing?
The Blast, yeah. I actually, I actually have played a small amount of this game with a friend, and uh, the little that I got through, I realized I needed to stop playing until I got the game. And it went on sale yesterday, or today, so here we go. Um, Elf. Dexterity. Extraction of a character's hand, eye coordination, balance, and overall grace. Interactions can be used for sleight of hand and fast reactions. Combat affects the character's action speed with all attacks, spells, and abilities, and contributes to the reflex defense. Though dexterity speed, perception... Represents the character's sense of his senses as well as their instinctive ability to pick up on details and interactions that can be used to catch someone in a line and make an observant comment about their appearance to notice something happening in the background in combat. Contributes to accuracy, reflex defense, and grants bonus to interrupt. Whoa. <laughs> what is that? Plus one resolve, minus one might, and plus two perception. Godlike. What? Plus one dex and plus one intellect. Combat it contributes to the will defense and influences durations and areas of effect of effect for all abilities and talents. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. I think I might go with the godlike. Looks pretty cool. And it has uh, bonus intellect. Death godlike. Whoa. That face. Oh. So scary. Fifteen to twenty playthroughs. Really? Wow. Death's Usher, when death godlike attack an enemy with 25% less or 25% or less endurance, their damage is increased. Battle Forge, when reduced below 50% endurance, fire godlike glow like metal and forge. Gaining damage reduction and doing a small amount of fire damage to any creature who hits them in melee. Whoa. <laughs> Conehead, bro. Yeah, that's a lot of playthroughs, man. That's impressive. This game must be really good. Silver Tide. Every encounter, when reduced below 75, 50, and 25% endurance, moon godlike generate waves of healing moonlight that restore endurance to them and their allies. Bonus to Might, Constitution, and Dexterity when below 50%. Okay, well, let's look at the classes here. Wait a second, I already picked that. What? Oh, body type. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go, classes. Barbarian, Chanter, it's like a Bard, Cypher. 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 
Cyphers have the ability to directly contact and manipulate another person's soul and psyche using an ally's or enemy's essence as the focus for their magic. Though most ciphers are still found in the Eastern Reach, practitioners of techniques have spread throughout the known world. They're gaining acceptance over time but are generally distrusted. Interesting. Starting abilities. Powerful soul focus effects. Build through the use of their soul whip. Hey, Pucho8, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Is this game good? Uh, I, th I think it's good. I've played a little bit of it previously. If you like, uh, if you like these kind of games, I think it's good. Druids can spirit shift. Mastered animalistic form. These forms give the druid strong melee abilities and grant an additional power while the druid is shifted. Crazy, man. There's a lot of, it's obviously, uh, the game is pretty complex, if you can see all this stuff that's going on right here. Fighter. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna play a fighter. Feel like you need to see more before you buy? Well, hey man, hang out. I'm doing, uh, this is my first time, um, playing the game. Well, I, I, like I said, I did play for a little bit before, but. This is really my first playthrough. Monks. Hmm. It's like the standard monk. Paladin. I know what a paladin already is. I already know what a paladin is. Priest heals. Ranger ranges. Ooh, they get animal companions, though. Interesting. Animal companions, huh? The ones that... The classes that I'm the most interested in is Rogue, Wizard, and Cypher. Rogue... Well, kind of Ranger, too. Rogue, Wizard, and Cypher. Of course I know what a wizard is. Arcane Assault, mid-range attack that hits a small area for raw damage and can leave a target's dazed. Access to a variety of spells and personal defense spells. Hmm. Just trying to determine what I'm going to play. If I'm going to play the whole game through with this character, I want to make sure it's something that I like, you know? You know what I mean, guys? Sure everybody can relate to that. Moon godlike. Nature godlike. Here's one thing, though, is I like to play rogues because I don't like uh, not having access to things. You know what I mean? Um, maybe Shade, LOL, if you can answer this question. Um, if I don't play a rogue, am I not going to have access to things like chests? Will I not be able to unlock doors? Will I not be able to pickpocket? Or is that not really a part of the game? That's like the only thing I really want to know. Mechanics. Traps and locks can be a problem. Aha. I 
I see. Okay. All right, so I'm rethinking this. The only thing is I'm scared to play a rogue because I'm playing the hardest difficulty, but that might make it really fun as well. So let's rethink this. Let's go back. I think elf probably looks like the best rogue. Dexterity and perception. I think I'm going to go with Rogue. I just love playing Rogue, so... Pale Elf. All Pale Elves have increased burn and freeze damage reductions. Wood Elves. Distance advantage against any enemy that is more than 4 meters away. Wood Elves gain bonus to accuracy, deflection, and reflex. That sounds really good, so I'm going to go with Wood Elf. Going to go with Wood Elf. Wood Elf Rogue. Probably go ranged mostly. Rogue Poo. Sounds good to me. I have a hard time not playing a rogue in any RPG. I just I just it's really hard for me. I love the rogue. Um, crippling strikes. I get to pick one of these, huh? Rogue attacks his his or her enemy's ability to move around effectively, inflicting extra damage to and hobbling the any enemy successful hit successfully hit. Blinding strike, blinded for ten seconds. Accuracy versus reflex. Um, so I can snare them or I can blind them. I think I'm going to go with blind. Let's go with blind. Yeah. Yeah. Why are these starred? Why are these things start up? Highly recommended for Rogue. Highly recommended for Rogue. Recommended for Rogue. I've got 15 points. I'm playing the hardest setting, so let's not joke around here. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're gonna need. We're gonna need hit points. We're gonna need hit points. So let's um got we have 15 points. Isn't dexterity accuracy? So let's go one, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. Resolve. Um, resolve, it looks like it is your will save and deflection defense. Perception is your accuracy. Constitution gives me my bonus to health and fortitude. I really think I'm going to need that. I really think I'm going to need that. On the hardest difficulty here. I think I'm going to pump that. Pump that. 13. Pretty balanced. Pretty balanced stat layout. 
All right. I hope. Sounds good, man. Culture, eight here. Gives me one resolve. One dex. One resolve. One intellect. One constitution. One might. And one perception. Really? Why do I have a spear now? Changes my weapon set? Hmm. Ah, rapier and a dagger? Gives me a spear with some armor. One resolve or one dex. I think I'm going to go with one dex because it's going to give me scimitar to start out with and one dex. Consisting of the nation of Nasati Nasatak, dozens of Alma settlements and hundreds of lawless pirate infested islands stretch along the southern sea. Dreadfire is home to boreal dwarves, Alma, and mixed variety of other races. Dreadfire Archipelago is the last stop for anyone headed east. Multitoed of monstrous sea creatures infest the ocean beyond making travel virtually impossible. So that works pretty good. That works pretty good with our rogue, you know. From the pirate lands. Seems good. Background. Aristocrat. Explorer. Laborer. Lore and mechanics. Merchant. Damn, slave? Really? Stealth and mechanics. Stealth and survival. I like drifter. One stealth, one mechanics. Sounds good to me. All right. Here we go. Next. Oh, you got it on sale? You took the plunge already, huh? You saw what you needed to see? Cool. Sounds good. Uh, colors. Black. And sure. Let's go with that. Looks good, man. I'm a drifter. Saber is superior to... Yeah, I figured. I mean, I figured, like, from the, um... From at least Dungeons and Dragons and Pathfinder standpoint, that a saber is a really good weapon for a rogue. Rapier or saber is pretty good. Usually has, like, a bonus to dexterity instead of, uh... Just strength. Alright. What head do we want? Most important decision in the game. Oh, it doesn't change much. Oh, those heads kind of creep me out. Damn, look at those eyebrows, dudes. Just going crazy. Sure. Oh, yeah. Look at them, look at them locks. Oh, we got a mohawk. Got a mohawk. Huh. Uh, 
Oh, looks pretty good. A little bit of uh, Ragnar Lothbrok look going on. But I'm a drifter. You know what I'm saying? And it is a drifter. I got to go with the Mohawk, dude. Either the Mohawk or the Ragnar Lothbrok. Kind of feeling the Ragnar. Yeah. Yeah. Looking good. Next. What is this all about? Well, Aha. watch and learn. Ah! I'll go on ahead. I'm here. I shall lead us. Show them how it's done. <laughs> I can have a female Steady voice. Does it. Yeah? Leading the way. They'll never know I'm here. I'll lead the way. Let's go! Steady does it. I'm here. Now I am the leader of the group. <laughs> He's a little bit... Let's go! The guy's Not a little a creepy. The guy's kind of creepy. Mm. I'm flattered. Let's go! Not a sound. Kind of like the benevolent. All right. Also, hardest dick diff what? Hardest difficulty plus rogue? Ooh. This is going to be fun. Caravan Master finishes addressing the group, bit his bushy red mustache and sagging jowls, quivering as if for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you are planning a stroll through those ruins up there. He nods toward a looming black mass on the hillside. Man, whatever. Whole that's where I'm going first. with hut-dwelling types who would be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Okay. Tonight everybody stays put, and in the morning we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood. Touch of the rumbling rot could be. There's a stinging beetle round here carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. Which case you'll be dead in a day. Uh-oh. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink. Called a springberry. About the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. Word up. Sounds good. Hey, how's the audio, guys? Can you hear all the voiceovers good? I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker, but see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. Hey, Mr. Gecko, what's going on, man? SP RPG? Um, I'm not sure what SP means, but it is an RPG. It's kind of like Baldur's Gate. I've been uh, waiting to get it for a while, and it just went on sale. Bios sound good. They're not too low volume. Where would I find these berries? They grow on a bush that's common around here. Kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Doubt you'd have to... Kind of funny looking. You'll know when you see it. Doubt you'd have to go far off the road to find one. What are those Nothing ruins? you won't see on half the hills of Air Glonfoth. Money to be made selling their knickknacks in Defiance Bay if you don't mind getting stuck with Glonfoth and Arrows now and again. They didn't build them, but I'll be the effigy if they don't watch them like a mother bear. Of course, all the ones around here have been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn, so I hear. Your character's attributes, skills, class, race, culture, and sex may all open up options for you in the dialogue. 
These options are not necessarily superior superior to other responses, but give you a wider variety of choices to select from. The manner in which someone responds to your choices depends on their individual personality and attitude. Sounds good. Got different names for them. Settlers called them in Gwithans. Nobody that liked them enough to stop them becoming ruins tell you that much. Huh. Not if you hurry about your business. <laughs>